Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. As you all know, I am autistic, which my case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today I'll be talking about autism and water safety. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by the fact autistic people like water. Ever since I was young, I would love being around the water. When it comes to someone who has classic autism that's severe, they need to be watched a lot and can't be left alone when swimming. Like I mentioned in my last video about danger awareness, water is one of those factors. However, water can be used to calm people down. Like for example, the mother of Jane's, who I mentioned before, uses the swimming pool in her home to help calm James down whenever, whenever he's having a meltdown. Being in the, the water in general is a form of therapy, especially since I talked about Dive Heart here on my channel a lot. Works with autistic people through scuba diving. Like I met my pal Nick Johnson, who was featured on the news in Chicago about Dive Heart and how diving helps him a lot. While the water can be calming and relaxing to autistic people, it can also lead to accidental drownings too. Throughout the years, I've heard about autistic people who have gone missing and have drowned due to being drawn to bodies of water like rivers, lakes, streams, creeks, even small ponds. As someone who also used to help teach water safety as well as worked as a lifeguard and helped teach preschool kids to swim for the YMCA, I always take water safety seriously. I have met people on the spectrum during my time there who have liked the water and even in one case been taught to swim by co-workers of mine. If you're not sure how to deal with water safety and someone who's autistic, you can take them to your local community center or any other place that offers swim lessons and talk about your autistic loved one and how they need special attention when being taught to swim. Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times, when heading out, Wear a mask in indoor public settings. Wash your hands. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Practice social distancing. Get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe. Stay healthy and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.